Now that the home is set up, there are several key areas to be comfortable with. Everything from edits to updates to shade operation. Let's take a look. When opening the app, the first view will be the dashboard. Think of this as the area to quickly access your most often used shades, scenes, or automations. Simply press the Add to Dashboard to add whatever you wish. The Rooms tab will show all available rooms with shades. You can always add a new room or select the room of shades you wish to operate. Since we have the same type of shades in this room, you can press and hold to highlight each shade to operate or select one at a time. Position the shade as desired. When selecting an individual shade, you can send it to your favorite position here or choose Settings icon to edit or update the shade. Next, let's take a look at scenes. Scenes are a custom position of shades. Scenes like open, close, and privacy were created by default during the setup process, but you can always create more here. Or you can change the order in which you see the scenes from the page. You can also automate these scenes on a schedule right here. Or if we go back to the menu, next is automations. Automations are a great way to schedule scenes to run on a set schedule. Just set it, and all you have to do is forget it. From the Automations tab, select Create Automation, then select the scene. Now you can choose the time to trigger the scene and which days of the week you wish to trigger it. You can also set scenes to activate before, at, or after sunrise and sunset at your home. Enabling location services is required for this feature. The last item is More. There are many functions here. Starting at the top, you can select the home and see any other available homes, or hit plus sign to add a new home. You can also navigate to your account settings here. Next is your account information. You can select this to navigate to your account settings. Ensure that your account type is set properly. A homeowner would choose default. If you are a professional installer, you would want to choose installer to manage the multiple homes in which you are working. Also, under notifications, you can opt in or out of email notifications or promotional emails. Next, users can be added to the home by selecting the plus sign. Each user needs to create their own account. Next is the shades menu. From here, you can see all the shades within the home. If there are additional shades in the home that have not been discovered yet, these would show up here as well. Within each shade setting are all of the shades information, such as the name, power information, the room location, favorites, shade info, and some advanced settings. On to accessories, where you will find all the details for items such as gateways or remotes included in the home. Under gateways, you can check the status of any existing gateways or easily set up a new gateway by selecting the plus button. Under remotes, you can access the information and details of any existing remotes. It is easy to update any remotes existing group number configuration by the following prompts. You can also select the plus sign to add a brand new remote, or perhaps you would like to copy an existing remote so there's a duplicate remote in the same room. Simply select copy existing remote, select the remote you would wish to copy, rename the copied remote if you want to, then begin the sync process using the new remote. Back to the menu, the notifications will indicate any action items that need your attention. This could include things such as firmware updates or even low battery notifications. Firmware updates will list all of the shades and accessories, their current firmware status, and if any updates are needed. One item you will not see here is the gateways. As long as the gateway is connected to the internet, it will receive updates automatically. The setup wizard will take you into a setup process. This could be for a new home or to make any additions to your existing home. 